we form external field we know what is uni uh, what is mean by dipole when i bring this in a particular uniform electric field what will happen of course we said right there will be the rotation right but here the thing the special thing is like when we are giving the uniform external field it may be non uniform also but when we are giving the non uniform uh, uh, it will not give the proper result okay so if it is non uniform we can't know which direction it will rotate so usually we will go for a uniform external field only so when we are giving the uniform external field it will give us the proper see already dipole moment i said there will be the motion right there will be the rotation so when we are moving for the uniform external field when we are giving the uniform external field feel the particular direction so it will be p e sin theta so it will show us the particular proper turning effect okay so that is called as torque i hope you people know this so that is called as torque so when we are speaking about the dipole dipole moment is just rotating when we bring that dipole into uniform external field we will get the torque okay so the formula for the torque is nothing but p times e times sin theta right so p is nothing but dipole moment of course we are giving the external field that is a electric field only we are going to give so the charges we are going to give right so that is electric field and sin theta in which direction it is moving it will make the rotation right that angle okay so this is the dipole in a uniform external field yes i am just showing question yes uh a torque experienced by a dipole uh in a uniform electric field is directly proportional to what will happen so torque so tau right so tau is equal to p times e times sin theta right so cube of the field inverse of the field square of the field magnitude of the field okay so field means here we are talking about only e okay electric field so it is we don't have anything like power cube nothing it is just e so it is d it is only based on the magnitude of the electric field okay i am moving for the next question so it is just association reasoning so <coughs> a dipole in a uniform external field experience a net torque of course yes we studied this so the dipole align itself with the external field resulting a torque due to unequal forces on it charges so what will happen when there is a unequal force i said when we are giving a uniform field when we are giving a uniform external field that time only we will get a proper alignment proper rotational properties when we are giving the unequal it is it will not align in the proper way right so the dipole align itself with the external field resulting a torque due to unequal force yes if it was aligning by itself okay so if it is aligning by itself it may be because of unequal forces okay so association is correct but reason is not a correct explanation for that okay both are different concepts okay the next question calculate the torque experienced by the electric uh, dipole uh, they give the length and they give the charges and they give the electric field strength so we have to calculate the value of torque right so tau is equal to p times e times sin theta right is that we have a value of p no right p is a dipole moment right p is equal to q times 2a right we know this the value of charge and the distance between them we can calculate the p right and e is a electric field strength right we have it so it is 4 newton per coulomb and the value of theta is that they mention any values for theta calculate the torque experienced by the electric dipole of length 3 cm with charges in a uniform external field so when it is a uniform external field keep it in a mind the value of the angle will be 90 degree 
it is a common value okay when we are giving the uniform okay so it will be given in a perpendicular way. okay so it is 90 degree so when we we have a value of q now okay 2 micro coulomb and negative 2 micro coulomb so is that we have to take 4 or 2 dipole is opposite and equal charges right so we should not take 4 we have to take only 2 not minus 2 not plus 2 only 2 okay when you are solving the dipole questions just make sure whether you take only one number for the charge and a is 3 centimeter it is in the centimeter convert that to meter and then calculate the answer and we have a value of e theta calculate everything okay Yes, the same question like uh, 35A is deriving the answers uh, for the electric dipole in a uniform external field. Yeah, the next question, an electric field uh, of dipole length, they given the length and there is an angle it was given. It does not mention that it was given for a uniform external field. So there is an angle. So for sine theta we are going to use this 30 degree and we have a value of electric field and we have a value of torque tau we have here we have to calculate the value of uh, the charge of type dipole so which means that we have to calculate the value of q right so how we are going to do it so tau is equal to p times e times sine theta we know that so p is equal to q times 2a times i'm just writing the e sine theta in the same way this is tau so we have a value of tau we have a the distance we have e electric field strength we have a um, theta right so now we have to calculate the value of q so just i'm rearranging q is equal to tau q dot to uh, like uh, so i'm just taking 2a dot e sine theta so we can calculate the value by using this right so 